be Boyder Dragon Sonic back again with the seasonal look ahead for the Formula E Monoposte Championship and from now on on the thumbnails, the FEMC. We're heading into season nine then, the second season to be recorded in 2024. So let's take a look at our grid, our calendar, and anything that's changed between seasons. And we're gonna start off with Apche for Audi Sport. These guys don't know when to keep a livery and when to get rid of it. This is a livery that we've seen before, but they decided to use for this season. But at the very least, their driver lineup's nothing but consistent. Batuco stays in the number 25, and Dao Sanchez stays in the 72. Then we have Nissan Racing. They've gone back to their first ever livery design, except with the touch-ups with their sponsors. They've, they've got Sonic Superstars, Sonic Dream Team, Sonic X Shadow Generations, the literal worst name for a video game ever. Genuinely, comment down below a worst video game name. But you might actually notice something different, apart from the fact that this is Nissan's first livery. Um, the driver lineup. That is not Blade of Dragon Sonic. That is UK Ball. Blade of Dragon Sonic, he's retired. He's no longer driving. Instead, we have UK Ball in the 89, moving over from HWA Race Lab, who have changed coming into this season. And partnering him is Miles Stone. Then it's Mercedes EQ, the team that was once HWA Race Lab, but before that it was um, Revolution Racing, before that it was Renault uh, Racing, before that it was Amlin Andretti. This team really does like to change its names a lot. You have in one of their seats Mechanovic, but in the other seat, a man who's left Renault, it's Sierra. P. Sierra then, of Spain, decides to jump over into to the black machine, whose livery is actually just the W15 livery, except with the EQ blue. And also, no mention of Patronus, because oil bad, AMD good. Then we have Envision Racing, who are nothing but consistent. Everything that you see here is the same as what you saw in Season 8. The livery, the same. The lineup, with Babness and Ravo both still looking for their first title, the same. Then you have Dragon Racing. New livery, but this is actually the oldest livery I've ever seen in in my life when it comes to Monoposto. This was made for the older model, and you've seen this on my channel before. You have Gallagher and Aldridge as was as it was last season. I can't believe I'm stuttering. Then you have DS to Cheetah. The gold and black machines. They weren't really much of golden arrows, though. Not Lewis Hamilton and Debris take up the two seats. Then you have Jaguar Racing. Same livery as last season. Same lineup as last season. Catfish and Alcalas retaining their seats. And then you have Mahindra. The standouts from last season with their lead driver, Marcus Nelson, who is now the driver who has spent the most seasons at a single team, now spending nine at Mahindra. He finally scored his first podium. And not just that, he scored a win. He scored multiple wins, but he still finished 10th. He was behind his teammate, Yusuf, in last year's standings. So let's see if he can do any better this time. Then we have Trolley Grand Prix, the perennial last place team. The 2019 Williams of the championship, and you still got Gamer Cat and Paul Rock in the team. And then you have the Alpine of this championship, Team Aguri. They are midfield teams. These guys, they can get a few podiums on their day, but mostly if you want them to get points, that is what they will do with Mohamed Awawi and Kim Adesis, two of the most consistent drivers on the grid. Then you have Renault Sport. Yes, this does mean that all three teams that played Dragon Sonic did drive for are actually represented in some form in Season 9. You have Enoch Yui, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, in the 29, in his debut series, in his debut season. He's from Hong Kong, and alongside him, as you can see, Alan Lee in the number 98, retaining his seat. They'll be hoping for some better results. Now, as for the calendar this season, we're going to start off for the second time 
in Marina Bay. Then we head off to Baku, and then we head off to Abuja. Monaco's up next with trips in Las Vegas and Miami, and then we head back to where the Formula E is known for racing, uh, the United Kingdom and the London E Prix. We return to Montreal before going to another French-speaking country, France, for the Paris E Prix. I know it says Australia, but it's not. Then we head to Japan for the Tokyo E Prix. Then we head to Bucharest for another Bucharest E Prix. Monza for the Rome E Prix. Amsterdam, Sao Paulo, Munich, and we end off the championship for season nine in Yas Marina. So we'll see you guys next time for this Marina Bay E Prix. And hopefully I can stop stuttering.